Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf Sonic Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the new Nerf Elite Barrel Break IX2. Um, this gun is a remake of the old version, kind of like they do with Retaliator and Recon. Um, let's start off the main part. It is a double barrel shotgun. Um, and the features of this gun, it has a railing on the top, a sight in the front, and a sling adapter on the bottom. And it has a nice angled handle. So it's more like a one-handed gun instead of a two-handed. Normally wouldn't hold it like this. Um, also, how this gun works, you pull this trigger, and it is ambidextrous, so it's on both sides. You pull it out, cock it back, and you put your darts in right here. Put it back in, and you shoot. Uh, one thing that you can do is, is hit it down like that, which is kind of nice. And the de-jamming area of this gun, sometimes the darts will get stuck in there. Uh, it hasn't happened to this gun yet. Um, so what will happen if the darts get stuck in there, you click this button and this barrels, the two barrels will come out. And then you click this little thing and it, it lowers a little uh, rod that's sticking up. It'll push it back down and it'll allow the darts to fall out. So that's a nice part about the gun. Also this gun has a two stage trigger. So when you pull one half, it shoots one side, the left side, and then you pull the other half it'll shoot the right side. Um, also, there's the indicators on the back to also show you that. Uh, you may not be able to see it. Uh, it is in the inside of the gun right in here. It'll show you that the left goes and then the right goes. Um, also, this gun, when you get it, it may be a little bit hard to cock, or not really hard, but strange. Uh, and if you don't cock it enough, if you don't push it down enough, you won't be able to pull it back up. You won't be able to push it back up. And it gets a little bit weird. The practical use of this gun in a battle would be most likely a close quarters combat because the range is really bad. And also, you normally use this as a secondary weapon. Uh, I would never use it as a primary because of the short range and uh, the cocking takes a long time and you can only shoot one, two, wait 15 seconds to shoot another two. Um, and then the recommended attachment I'd say to use for this gun would be this ammo holder. This came with the old barrel break. Um, so that's a, the only attachment I'd ever use for this gun. Let's get into the pros and cons of this. The pros is that it's a really cool looking gun. Uh, I normally get this or I would only get this for a collector's item. I wouldn't really get this for any battle use because it's really terrible in battle. So for the cons of this gun, the range and accuracy is really bad, but that is to ex be expected in a shotgun. Shotguns are obviously close range. Um, also, it has really slow reloading because you have to put the darts in and then uh, you can cock it back. Uh, another thing is that when you have already cocked it, say it's already cocked right here, it's ready to shoot, but if you try to reload it, say, the darts will be in here, and if you try to push it back together, it'll just completely smash the darts. So you couldn't reload when you have half, when you have, say, one dart in. You couldn't reload to put the second dart in. Um, now let's shoot this blaster. So we have the barrel break. We have a line of 70 feet. Let's see the shoot. So for the ranges of this gun, the darts fell from 18 feet to 27 feet. So the effective range is probably around 20 feet. Uh, but you can expect less maybe because the accuracy is very terrible also. Thanks for watching Nerf Sung Reviews and I'll see you guys next time.